Hello everyone. Welcome. Today we're gonna be uh turning a Chris Vector into an abomination, right? And this is a bone lab mod made by Rexmac. There are two different Chris Vectors. There is the modded one, which is what we're gonna be transforming. And then it has the actual base game vector. Uh, they're pretty similar, right? I do think one is slightly larger. Maybe. But that one, that one's base game, so it doesn't support the monstrosity we're going to attempt to turn this game into. Uh, for those who don't know what the Chris Vector is, it's essentially just another big ol' SMG. Not only big, I think it's a little puny. But Rexmex supports his own attachment mod. So we're gonna be able to slap some attachments onto this son of a gun. And it's gonna get pretty funny. So for starters, right, let's just get two boxes of one and two packs of 42 light ammo. We have plenty to test out our bombers. Now, I would install the workbench mod, but honestly, just using this table works better. Here we have the Chris Vector, and uh, there's Rex and Shucks, but we're going to be using Rex Rexes to start because it has more. It would be funny to do with it. We're also going to be using his attachment rails. Let's start by just screwing this thing up as bad as possible. Here, let's give this thing a vertical grip. Like, when you look at the Chris Vector, this thing pretty much already has a built-in vertical grip. You have no reason to have this. That's where it gets funny. <laughs> I am heavy whipping guy. I don't know why I find this so funny, just holding it like it's some sort of mounted turret. <laughs> Alright. But we're not done yet. That's just the start of this. Absolute mess. Because of course. You gotta, you gotta, you know, balance that, balance it out somehow. So let's slap a suppressor onto that son of a gun. If you thought we were done there, you'd be wrong. Let's take a 45 angle angled rail. Right. So we can slap a grenade launcher onto it. We're gonna need a longer angled rail. That's too short. That's the small sized one that we're going to need. I must not have a Chris Vector, where do you go? Okay. All right. Perfect. We got it. <laughs> just in case, just in case uh, you're left-handed and this grip doesn't work out for you, you can always just use this other grip, which comes as a uh, built-in firearm. <laughs> just. Imagine the tactical switch from just to just full on just <laughs> nuclear warfare. I don't know, I just think it's somewhat of an abomination right now, but it, it can get worse, trust me. It, it can always get worse. Um. For starters. Sometimes, you will never know when you're about to get stabbed It's uh, in London. So this is also perfect for London to, uh, London home defense. Because, again, you'll never know if you're about to get stabbed or not. So if you grab just some random... Uh, where is it? You know, if you grab a, a long rail riser... And you snap that bad boy. The end of your gun? Put a knife at the end of it. 
And then you just have this big old bayonet you can just charge at animals. It's much more efficient, might I add, than just shooting them. Because with a knife, they're going to be too fast and you're going to be able to outrun your bullets. But with a knife... See, with a knife... Ain't going to be out outrunning much longer, eh? Hey? <laughs> Alrighty. But, again... Now, you might be saying, well, how are you supposed to aim with this thing? There's no sights at all. That's where Operation Give Give This Man Some Sights comes into play. Right. 45 angled rail. And a rail riser. And then we go into here, and we give him an AWM scope. Perfect for those long-range shots. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna slap it right there, at the end of your Chris Vector. You're gonna put this bad boy on it. And then this. Now, of course, if that's too far away for your liking. Like a Lego set, you can just snap the individual parts off. And bring it closer to you. Granted, that's about as close as you're gonna get. Uh, but that's where its reverse variant comes in, for when you really want to make sure you can get close to it. Um, Never mind, that is a uh, minor issue that comes with using the reversed one. Uh, so you are going to have to use the centered one, which may seem to be an issue, but again, you can always uh, do better. But as you can see now, You're gonna hit some mad accuracy with this thing. Not to mention again, this scope also works with the, uh, the grenade launcher. Now, now, another issue that this, that I've noticed that this is gonna bring is, you have no way to, you know, have a good run through in a good old rush against enemy teams in the dark. So that's where we added just a simple flashlight to this thing. You know, honestly, we're not crazy. We're, we're gonna have some level of class. Get the flashlight on this thing. Jesus, okay. Um... What are you saying? But there's no... Now... Here's the real question that I think all of you guys are thinking. What's the point of this stock? I mean, you have a... You have this. Yeah, and that's right. So we're gonna flip that stock around so it's now completely unusable. Uh, and we're gonna flip it right back because you're an idiot. This thing is way too front heavy. Uh, it actually tips forward. <laughs> this thing does not have recoil. This thing just straight up... <laughs> and of course, as it's very common knowledge that Chris Vectors aren't very good at... A lot of things. I'm gonna give it one thing it's really good at. And that is give, by giving it a laser sight when it has no way of using it. <laughs> no, this is gonna be. I can't make a rear side laser sight. You know what And I call this the intimidation strategy. See now with this, if you hold, if you go to zoom in and scope in, they'll think that they'll have a laser on their head. When in fact, 
you don't even know they're there. So you can hear from across the battlefield. Uh oh, there's a sniper on my skull. And then you know just to turn around and open fire. We also do have iron sights with the uh, new bayonet install. But this is the uh, London Home Defense uh, Chris Vector. Now let's just test it out on this lovely British chap we have here. Lovely, lovely British chap. As you can see, very good at our good old rain. Uh, good. Close up home defense. Now let's try it ranged. See? Easy. Now let's go ahead and let's try out our good old grenade launcher. Lon London engineering at its finest, gentlemen. That is going to conclude this abomination. Uh, this will sell for three thousand nine hundred eighty-two dollars on Unwish.com. Uh, this is this is the start of my merch sales. Um, <laughs> buy it on Etsy.